So now, let's now talk about profit guard option spread trades. And uh, Prime Trade Select has produced a lot of profitable call option trades over the years. So uh, when you have a profit in your call option, that poses a dilemma. Do you hold on to that winning call option trade for further upside profit potential, or do you take profits in the case the stock declines in price with the possibility of the profitable option trade turning into a loss? So you always face that dilemma when you have a profit in a call option purchase. So we know from experience that it's uh, difficult to watch a winning trade develop into a losing trade. This is hard on your psyche as a trader and can help you lose confidence in your ability to be a successful trader. So we solved that dilemma by purchasing a put option that provides insurance for your profitable call option trade. So when we have a profit in a call option trade, um, we'll either leg into a debit spread or we'll leg into a profit guard strip, uh, spread uh, by purchasing a put option. So we trade both, both types of spreads and that diversifies our portfolio even further. So again, if we, if we have a profit to call option, we never want to let that profit evaporate uh, that's that's hard as a trader to see a winning trade turn into a losing trade, so we'll create either a debit spread or a profit guard spread. And with the profit guard spread, when you buy a put option, of course, uh, that will profit as the underlying stock uh, goes down in price. So uh, if you have a winning call option trade, purchasing a put option provides a profit guard that can help protect you against loss for your call option investment in the event the underlying stock declines in price. And at the same time, purchasing that put option does not limit the upside profit potential of your call option if the underlying stock uh, continues to increase in price. So with the profit guard spread, uh, your upside uh, profit potential is not limited. So once you initiate a profit guard spread, bad earnings reports don't matter. Um, a severe sell-off in the markets actually produces a windfall profit with this strategy, and we'll show you an examples of that. And we don't need to worry about placing protective stops, and you can place the trade and take a vacation. So um, these profit guard spreads during the recent correction there was nothing for us to do once we purchased that put option protection. Um, in most cases, it guaranteed a profit for our trade, no matter what the underlying stock did. So uh, this was a great way to ride out the correction. We, we don't care what happens to the underlying price, because in most cases, we can lock in uh, a guaranteed profit, and we just sit on the trade until option expiration. So as you'll see shortly, purchasing the put option protection uh, can even guarantee that your trade will be a winning trade. And purchasing that put option uh, transforms option investing from one of the riskiest investments uh, to one of the lowest risk uh, trades that you can take using options. <clears throat> now because there's a long position, uh, the call option, and a short position, the put option. The, the strategy is also known as a market neutral spread. <clears throat> and market neutral spreads can profit if the price of the underlying stock goes up or down. And a sharp decline in the price of the underlying stock can even result in a windfall profit. And we'll show you an example of that. And your risk is limited to the cost of the spread. You can start out with a small $5,000 trading account and with the profit guard spreads we normally go out one to three months. So let's look at a few examples. The um, healthcare ETF was on a prime trade select buy signal so our online brokerage report shows that we um, purchased the 50 strike call at 9.60. 
So this this was a, a, a directional trade. We used Prime Trade Select to select this um, call option purchase. The trade was profitable, so we created a spread to protect those profits, and we purchased uh, the XL, XLV 50 strike put option at four points. So we had a, a profit in the uh, call option purchase. At a later date, we wanted to protect that profit, so we purchased the 75 strike put. And um, the 50 strike call option, of course, profits as XLV moves up in price, and the 75 strike put option profits as XLV moves down in price. And again, we have a calculator for the profit guard strategy. So we use that calculator before we took the trade. And we can see that um, we, pl we plugged in the, the stock price at the time was 71.44. Uh, we bought the 50 strike call at 9.60 and purchased the 75 strike put at four points. So the um, calculator shows that if XLV is flat at option expiration at 71.44, we're gonna realize an 83.8% .8 return and a $1,140 profit on the spread. So um, if XLV is flat, 83% um, return, if it's up, 10%, we're going to have a 110% return. If it's up 20%, we're going to have a 162% return. So you can see our upside prop potential is not limited as XLV goes up in price, our profit potential continues to increase. And if it goes down, now we would not expect uh, losses this large, but this, this just demonstrates the strategy to you. If it goes down 40%, we'll have 136% return. And then if it really crashes, then you know our profit potential increases the more the underlying stock goes down. So this can actually produce a windfall profit if the underlying stock declines uh, sharply. So uh, again, in this, in this uh, trade example, uh, our minimum profit would be 83%. So that, that's a pretty good return. And again, once we purchase that put protection, um, we, we can just sit on that trade. We don't have to look at it. We don't have to put in a protective stop. We just wait until option expiration uh, to either uh, close out the trade or roll over the trade. So we normally roll over profitable trades and that reduces the cost basis of the new spread. Here's another example. Uh, we use Prime Trade Select to select um, a brick uh, ETF call option, and the uh, trade was profitable. So we entered a um, we purchased a put option to protect our profits. So the brick ETF was on a Prime Trade Select buy signal, and our uh, brokerage report shows that we bought the 32 strike call at uh, 10, 10 points. So uh, we had a directional trade, uh, selected the trade using Prime Trade Select. Um, BKF moved up in price after we purchased the 32 strike call. So we had a profit in our call option purchase. And then we purchased uh, the BKF 48 strike put option. And this created a profit guard spread. Uh, we legged into the spread by purchasing the 40 stri 48 strike put. And the 32 strike call option purchase, of course, profits as BKF moves up in price and the 48 strike put profits as BKF moves down in price. <clears throat> and uh, let's look at the uh, profit potential for this trade again. Uh, uh, BKF is trading at 50.88. We bought the 32 strike call at 10 points and bought the 48 strike put at 75 cents. And we can see that if B BKF was flat at option expiration at 50, 
then we'd realize a 75% return, $813 profit. Uh, if it was up 10%, we'd realize 122% return, and our profit potential is not capped if the uh, underlying stock or ETF continues to move up in price. And of course, if it moves down in price, we also profit. So in this example, the minimum profit for this trade would be $525 and 48% return. So <clears throat> uh, we also have a profit guard uh, portfolio with our option trading service and we send out emails uh, with recommendations for profit guard spreads and we maintain a closed trade and open trade record so that we account for all our trades and uh, if you're a member of the option trading service, of course, you get uh, access to the, uh, the six different optioneering uh, calculators that will allow you to calculate your profit potential before you take the trade. Here's a snapshot of open trade profits for profit guard spreads. This lists the, uh, the uh, option that we purchased, the entry price. Uh, the last price, uh, the dollar profit in this column and percent return in this column. So we have $200,000 open trade profit and an average return of 90%. And <clears throat> with most of these trades, even if the underlying stock went to zero, we, we would still realize a profit on the trade. So this portfolio, uh, no matter what happens to the markets, this portfolio will be profitable. <clears throat> and again, if you want to get updates on the uh, market neutral uh, spread portfolio, um, you can log on to weeklyoptionalert.com uh, or give Brad a call at 866-661-5664, and he'll be happy to uh, help you with uh, the service. So again, you can get, if you click the trade results link um, at Weekly Option Alert, It'll give you updates on how these various strategies are uh, performing. So uh, if you ever want to look at the current trade results for the various strategies, just log on to Weekly Option Alert and click Trade Results. <clears throat> so that concludes my uh, presentation, and I'd be glad to take any uh, questions. You ready for some? We just sure. have a couple for you, Chuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had a, a, a couple of questions come in. Um, uh, Carrie uh, asked, can you do this if your account is only $1,000? And then Abba actually asked if you could do it with funds lower than 500. So what is the minimum you recommend uh, for an option account to start trading with? Yeah, with, with an option account, if you're just going to do option purchases, um, I would recommend at least a uh, three to $5,000 account so that you could have a uh, diversified portfolio of options uh, on stocks in different industries. So we, we generally recommend at least three or $5,000 to get started with an option purchase uh, account. Uh, Charles asked, do you, do, ever, do you ever do credit spreads? That's a good question. And um, I, I analyzed credit spreads versus debit spreads. Uh, uh, and and I, I, what, what I found out was with, with the credit spreads, um, you know, you can, you can collect a, a small credit, maybe $50, $75 on the trade, but you're risking $500 on the trade. You know, a typical credit spread, let's say the, the, there was a five point spread uh, on the credit spread, you know, you're risking $500 to make $50. And it works fine until that one time <laughs> when the, the the stock really tanks and then you lose $500 and then you wipe out, uh, you know, nine, nine or 10 of your profitable trades with just one losing trade. So that, you know, that is, that's, that's hard. Uh, psychologically, it's hard to trade. For me, it's hard to trade like that because um, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, have eight winning trades in a row and then all of a sudden, 
you know, uh, you have a losing trade and it wipes out all those profits. And in this latest market correction, <laughs> that's exactly what would have happened if you if you had credit spreads and you you know you were you were riding the wave up and you had a bunch of winning trades and then all of a sudden this correction hits out of nowhere and it, you know it would have wiped out your account. So. Uh, 